like thee, O Lord among the gods, who is like thee, Lord there is none else. Welcome back to I Just Drive. Today I had a rider. Not sure what she really was thinking, but she needed to get to the airport. Lift, uh, lift, as usual, just keeps people all delayed by switching and switching and switching and switching. When that person could have got to the airport on time. Then you blame the messenger, that's me. Okay? So anyway, not sure what her real way of thinking was or anything. I'm not sure if she was just saying something like that. But she told me that she had to be there at a certain time to check in. And, well, <laughs> it was barely enough time barely enough time with that kind of traffic and so she said something like to the effect of um well i i hope the something like the i hope the gods of transportation bless us on our trip or on the way or something because we were going into rush hour traffic you know try, trying to get all the way from like west west of downtown Fort Worth down there you got to cut across yeah down there by um 7th street you know where all those clubs and all that stuff close to there so we kind of <laughs> got to go through all this stuff to get to DFW airport and uh, well I I said to her all I said was, I bless the traffic. And it kind of, kind of dawned on me, oh, what am I like, was I making her think that I was trying to say that I'm a transportation god or something? Nope, that's not what, that's not what I meant, you know. But I said it, and... And I kept my, I had some, some of that kind of subtle Christian music. Um, the ones that it, it, it gets you into um, the music. And, and I, I guess when you're into a certain point, then you realize it's a Christian song. Uh, I mean, just people that can really rock, you know. Um, there's different types, but that was what I was listening to, so it was kind of like, like, you know, she had a chance, she had a long enough chance to, to realize what I was saying without really saying it, and we got her there, got her there on the trip, but I want to say, <sighs> the transportation gods, well, uh, that doesn't sound very good, but, uh, there's, there's, um, uh, the ones that are making, you know, all, doing all the controlling of all of our transportation, they, some of them might consider themselves as transportation gods, you know, they got, they get more and more power. And we need, we need that to stop. We need that to stop. And let's not forget, let's not forget those other gods that influence people like that and influence politicians and different people. The ones that want to take the place of our God. So... That's something to think about 
we we seem to be turning inside out our country uh really is only one god and anyway i just want to say hi and hello and and then there was one more thing that last video I, it, I, I thought I would get more views on that one. And I'm not just trying to get views, y'all. What I'm saying is... I wanted to get that message out about, about Brandy Luttrell and a Lyft offering her a horrible settlement of something that really was their fault. Um... So I did the, that was just a clickbait. Make 1500 driving for Lyft. Now, you y'all should know I would not try to offer you some sort of crazy idea like that. Basically, she was shot, almost killed. She was shot, shot 7 times and she escaped to a hospital. The guy took her car, and then her bill was 50000 I guess, pretty much immediately. It's probably a lot more than that now. Um, and so, this, this, this was in Jackson, Mississippi. And so, Lyft offered her $1,500. So, that's why I put that on there. And... I hope she doesn't take it. I hope she doesn't accept that. That is not... That is not cool. Everyone knows that Lyft owes us way more than 1500 without something like that happening. They've stolen so much. So... So anyway... Brandy, please, if, you're, if you get a chance to hear this... Please don't accept that. If you if you still haven't, don't do it. All right. Have a good night. Thanks so much.